as you can see, I currently have a do-rag on my head, and that's because I personally use a do-rag for my waves. But the real question is, could you get waves without a do-rag? That's the question I'm gonna be answering in this video. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is up? It's your host with the most entertaining people like you. From coast to coast, Waveman Mike. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get waves without a do-rag. First of all, the real question is, is it even possible? Can you get waves without a do-rag? And the answer to that question is, of course, yes. Just about anything in life is possible. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. So now that you know it's possible, you're wondering, well, how can I do it? Well, before I teach you how to do that, I just want to mention something. Getting waves without a do-rag is, to say the least, more difficult than getting waves with a do-rag. It takes a lot more time and it's a lot more work, but I'm sure you knew that. Seems like common sense, right? Because if it only required the same amount of effort that doing it with a do-rag would, nobody would wear do-rags. So I'm pretty sure you already figured that. So what are the materials that you'll need for getting waves without a do-rag? Well, first off, you're still gonna need old reliable. A brush, what did you expect? Brushing your hair is the most important thing when it comes to getting waves, whether it's with a do-rag or without a do-rag. Also, you're still gonna need products. You're gonna need moisturizer. What moisturizer does for your hair is basically what lotion does for your skin. It prevents it from being dry. And if it's already dry, then it can heal that dryness. Does that make sense? Of course it does. Also, you're gonna need pomade. This one is more important than you think right now. Why do you think that is? Well, if you don't have the do-rag to hold your hair down, you're definitely gonna need something else to do it right. So that pomade is gonna hold your hair down. And it's pretty much the only thing that's gonna be holding your hair down. Also, something that I think I should mention, if you plan on getting waves without a do-rag, I recommend that you get 180 waves instead of trying to get 360 waves or 540 waves or 720 waves. The reason that I recommend this is, if you try to get, let's say, 360 waves and you're doing all this work, you're brushing your hair, you're doing everything right, but you're not wearing a do-rag. Each time you go to sleep, the main parts that are gonna be touching your pillow and your uh, blanket are the sides of your hair and the back of your hair. And those parts are gonna be getting messed up each time you lay down to go to sleep. So it's gonna feel like it's pointless to get 360 waves because it's gonna be so much work and then you might not even, even get the results that you want. However, if you're only getting 180 waves, then you might be fine because odds are this part of your head isn't gonna be touching anything anyway, unless you're a rough sleeper or you sleep in like a handstand or something. I doubt the top of your hair will be touching anything. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get waves without a do-rag, I recommend getting 180 waves. So. You're probably wondering, how do I wash my hair if I have waves without a do-rag? The first wash method that comes to mind, actually the only wash method that comes to mind when I think of 360 waves is the wash in style. And we all know, at the end of the wash in style, before you wash out your shampoo, you put your do-rag on. And then you wash out the shampoo with your do-rag on and you don't take off your do-rag until your hair is wet. You see how many times I said do-rag just in that little bit of time? Well, basically, if you're washing your hair without a do-rag, you're just doing all of those steps except for the ones that require the do-rag. So usually you would brush your hair with the shampoo in it, then put the do-rag on, and then wash the shampoo out. Well, just take out that step of putting on your do-rag. Brush your hair with the shampoo on it and just rinse it out. Don't scramble it out. When you rinse it out, just let the water glide on your head. You know, you can even use your hand to guide it out in the same direction that you brush your hair. But don't rinse your hair and scramble your whole head because then you're gonna create more frizz. You're gonna create a whole bunch of things that you don't want to happen pretty much. Honestly, getting waves without a do-rag isn't that difficult. People do it all the time, actually. A lot of people that you see walking around with waves 
actually have gotten them without wearing a do-rag. It's only the people that you see with the really nice waves who wear do-rags. Well, there are also people who don't have nice waves who wear do-rags, but we're not gonna get into that. The moral of the story is everything that you would do for getting waves regularly, keep doing that. Just take out the steps that involve wearing a do-rag. Also, all of those regular steps you're going to need to exaggerate them. So for somebody who would brush their hair normally, who wears a do-rag, they will brush their hair maybe 30 minutes to an hour. You, however, will need to brush your hair longer than that. Why? Because you don't have all the benefits and the things that they have to help them with their waves. So you're gonna need to brush your hair for more than an hour a day. I know it sounds like a lot, but if you don't wanna do that, then you might as well just go get a do-rag. And if you can't, then you're just gonna to have to tough it out. But yeah, that's really all I can think of to talk about in this video. I don't think I've made this one before, but I'm sure it would help people out. I know there are people out there who want to get waves, but they don't wanna wear a do-rag or they can't get a do-rag or something along those lines. So if this video was helpful, make sure you go press the like button. It helps me out, believe it. And after I just spent all this time helping you, the least you can do is help me. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If they ask you who I am, I'm Wave Man Mike. So subscribe, drop a comment, and don't forget to like. Enjoy your day. Wait, before you leave the video, I have an important message for you. If you are looking to buy a high quality wave brush, make sure you go to www.smoothstyles.com. And when you purchase your brush or anything on the entire website, make sure you use my promo code WAVEMAN so you can get a 30% discount, which is huge. But wait, there's more. The discounts do not stop there. Make sure you go buy a cut buddy from www.thecutbuddy.com. And when you make your purchase, make sure you use my code Waveman Mike for a discount. There is no space between Waveman Mike. It's just all one word together. If you're interested in finding out what the cut buddy is, make sure you go check out the few videos that I have where I use the cut buddy 